as the sun sets below the horizon, downtown Iowa City begins to crawl with life. But the sights and sounds of a college weekend are drowned out by another sound. The radio screeches, sirens wail. Johnson County paramedics speed to another alcohol-related call. A mob of young faces crowd outside the union. In an alley behind the bar, a young woman sits in her own vomit. Disoriented, drunk, and able to stand only with the help of paramedics. Our overall responses are up significantly. Uh, we've uh, increased our response level about 12% in the last year. And so everything's up and uh, alcohol has is, is increased just like everything else has. Initially, the 21 ordinance appeared to curb binge drinking, but paramedics say the number of alcohol responses is climbing once again. You had way too much to drink, and I don't know what else you might have had. Responding to intoxicated students both downtown and in residential areas, where they still witness some interesting behavior. It's kind of interesting to, to note the wide range of responses you could get to somebody's name from anywhere from I'm Bob, hi, how are you, to Woo! Funny at times, paramedics understand the severity of binge drinking and know the situation really can become fatal without medical treatment. The, the hardest decision to make is when someone comes in so intoxicated that they lose their gag reflex and they're vomiting and then there's a fear of the vomit going into their lungs and then aspirating and dying. In these severe situations, paramedics are forced to rush to the ER unit. And even though the patient's health is on the front of their mind, this isn't always reflected in the way they're treated in the back of the ambulance. Individuals who are extremely intoxicated can be very belligerent, they can be uh, combative, uh, they're often uh, not feeling well, so you know, we have to deal with them vomiting and the mess that, that creates. Let it out if you need to, okay? Dealing with the mess is a low point of the job, but only one of the many situations paramedics are faced with. I don't like being vomited on, okay? I have been spit, I have been punched, scratched, I have been bitten and kicked, and that's just a common assault that we have to deal with. Working with the Iowa City Police helps to minimize these issues but a strong commitment is needed to face these challenges every weekend. It's a challenge any time you go on an alcohol-related call. Uh, very few of them are happy and fun and, and friendly and looking to have a party with, with the ambulance folks. Treating severe intoxication is no party, but as students continue to abuse the powers of alcohol, Johnson County paramedics will be ready to face any dispatch that comes across the radio. I'm Brad Maxwell. Daily Iowan TV. Yeah.